Good evening, uh, Chairwoman Carter, ladies and gentlemen, Freehold Board, Bruce Patterson, Garwood, New Jersey. Uh, in, in light of uh, recent events that came up, uh, I think it's time to revisit a statement that I read back in November of 2009. It, it's just as applicable now. I, uh, hopefully, you're going to listen to it because back then you ignored it. Now it comes back and it slaps you in the face. So I'm going to read the statement. Uh, when I think of the term sheriff, I think of a position of integrity, that we should feel a sense of security and that the laws of society will be upheld due to the integrity. The Sheriff's Department is considered an integral part of good government. And it is here in the Sheriff's Department we have a major impediment to good government. I'll call it a disease that, in my opinion, must be removed. I have spoken before on the subject to you. This disease, I call it, comes in the form of Joseph Cryan, who is under Sheriff of Union County. And I am fed up that he has embarrassed Union County time and again. I have stated to you to get rid of this Joe Cryan, and you did nothing. You have allowed it to continue to fester. As I stated before, this person who is under sheriff is supposed to protect the county's assets, yet he has no safety, security, or law enforcement experience. He only owned a bar. A while ago, he was accused of pocketing $2,000 in political donations, but skating, since this was past the statute of limitations. He was reprimanded for not declaring political gifts on his public financial statement. He was found out to be using our county car, funded by our taxpayer money for non-county business. He abused his position as undersheriff to have 17 prosecuting prosecutor agents follow just one woman who was stalking him. What a waste of taxpayer money. But all this was pointed out to you before, and yet you allowed this disease in the sheriff's department to fester. Even leading up to election day back in 2009, we found out that crime was headed of the New Jersey Democratic Party was allowing the New Jersey residents to be deceived with anti-Christie, pro-Daggett political communication. When accused of this, first he vehemently denied it, but then after proof was presented, he admitted it was done. Even worse, as reported in the Star-Ledger, during a legal motion by the same woman who was accused of stalking under Sheriff Crime, information came out alleging that crime used a Union County computer in sending emails of a sexually explicit and pornographic matter. He allegedly invited this woman to his office to perform sexual acts. This office desk they refer to obviously must be his Union County Under Sheriff's desk in the Union County Sheriff's Department. Cryan denies all this. Apparently this, this disease we call Joe Cryan has spread too far, consisting of many alleged public actions of deception, fraud, lying, abuse of power, abuse of county taxpayer money, Abuse of county taxpayer assets, which by the way is supposed to protect, lack of proper job credentials, perversion, even attempted lewdness. If it were only one or two items, it might possibly dis be dismissed, but when you have them, item after item, question after question of his actions, personally, financially, politically, one can only come to the conclusion that this disease must go. What kind of example of integrity does he set for the rank and file law enforcement officers in the Sheriff's Department? What example does he set for the residents when we look for trust and integrity in the Sheriff's Department? As leaders of Union County, it is your job to get rid of this disease affecting the integrity of good government. At the very least, this perversion should be publicly dragged up before the Freeholder Board and made accountable for his actions, then fired. Maybe a commission should be convened to investigate all his perversion. And for any of this, he offers no apology to the public, just excuses of the cover-up. This is just too much to take. To you, stewards of good government, we taxpayers ask you to do something about this. Most of you, I hope, do believe in good government. Please, get rid of this embarrassment to Union County residents and the disease Joe Cryan brought to the integrity of the Sheriff's Department. Thank you. And I, and I mean it. I read this in 2009. Here it is, 2013. This is the thing. It came, it came up now. It's in the public. We're looking at people who are talking about Union County, how bad it is. These are the type of people that we have to get rid of. I suggest you fire him probably by the end of this week. Well, tomorrow you probably will. Fire him soon. This is what I, the residents demand that. The residents demand that. I think it's about time you listen to the residents. Don't sit there and try to cover up all these problems because they just come out. They bite you in the butt. This is it. This is the one. i got plenty more to talk about, but let's just stick with this. Get rid of Joe Bryant. Get rid of him now. Um, one of the things I do want to state is the fact that that issue is a personal matter, but anything that covers over as a personnel issue, it is personnel, and we cannot discuss personnel issues here in this open forum. 
we will discuss it and we will handle it accordingly as guidelines by the County of Union. And one of the things that I know we have done over the last year is making sure that we go to our handbook and making sure that we are adhering to all policies and procedures and strengthening all of our policies and procedures. So we will not be discussing any personnel issues in an open forum. Thank you. Anyone else like 